Well, hello there again, everyone. Um, this video, I don't know how well this one's going to come out, but I'm going to try and get my point across here. And this is quite a revelation to myself, actually. Um, a few videos back, uh, it's possible you may have seen that I was endeavouring to set the timing up what I thought was correctly on this and uh, how the engine didn't seem to like it. So um, I set it to where it seemed happiest, even though it seemed to be uh, way over advanced on the uh, fully advanced setting. I think we were knocking on the door of 12 millimeters before top dead center when the uh, actual figure required was more like five and a half millimeters. Now I know that there's some excessive play and wear in the uh, advanced retard mechanism in the distributor so that could certainly allow for some of the excess but uh, I felt like uh, another sort of six and a half seven millimeters whatever nearly over um, what we uh, wanted to achieve was a little bit too much and uh, I've given it some more thought and was a comment or two and it is something that I've thought about myself from time to time in the past but never given it much thought now uh, the angle of the spark plug hole now that on this triumph is probably in a region of 45 degrees so let's call it 45 degrees just for a nice sort of fairly round figure that's half of 90 of course a right angle and um, based on that I wanted to set an experiment up on a bench using this partly built uh, Royal Enfield racing engine that I've got here that I never completed that's been gathering dust for quite a few years. And what I was going to do, I was basically, originally I was going to set up the degree disc on the crank again as we've seen on it before in other videos and put the uh, spark plug plunger in, get a measurement for say, uh, for argument's sake, 40 degrees before top dead centre and see how much drop we got on the uh, the screw in plunger that measures in millimeters and then uh, compare it by taking the head off and setting a dial gauge up working directly vertically on the middle of the piston crown now that would have achieved something and we would have got different measurements and it would have proved something but it would have been a right fiddle to try and set that experiment up so um i've come up with something else um, courtesy of the lathe and I've got unfortunately my head torch is dying a bit um, I've got this set up in the tool post of the lathe uh, so that it's actually sort of on zero if you like against this flat top piston now I know a dome piston could probably compound matters itself but just to keep things fairly simple I've used a flat top and I've got this here set to zero and I can go to three millimeters on this before I have to move the scale to go round again but basically I can go round in three millimeter increments so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round twice I'm going to go I'm going to move the tool post six millimeters closer to the piston and then see what this says it won't be six millimeters I already know what the answer is but uh, so we're going to go from zero we're going to go six millimeters closer to the piston and then take a reading off that which is at the moment on zero bear with me folks hopefully it won't be a minute can you see the lathe there right now then here we go one millimeter two millimeters Three millimeters. Move the scale back to zero. Four millimeters. Five millimeters. Six millimeters. Okay. The tool post assembly has traveled six millimeters closer. To the piston so if you like the piston has moved up the bore six millimeters so uh, let's have a look at the reading on this shall we that if you can see it 
Let's see if I move my torch out of the way a bit, you might be able to see it. But that is showing nine millimeters. So although we've only moved six millimeters, because of the angle compounding the measurements, that's recorded nine millimeters. So <clears throat> that can probably give some sort of explanation as to what we were seeing on the Triumph. Now I know that uh, I intended to get, um, I think it was five and a half millimeters before top dead center. And um, we actually saw 12. Well, five and a half, six, I've done six here. Maybe I should have done five and a half actually, but six millimeters gives nine. Um, so that's three millimeters extra thanks to the angle. And maybe the other three millimetres was thanks to the wear in the auto advance unit. Um, but that explains, or goes some way to explaining, why the engine seemed happier with what appeared to be way too much advance. In fact, those pistons will be nowhere near uh, as much as 12 millimetres before top dead centre, going by what we've just seen in the lathe. They will probably be, like I say, something more like uh, a very real 8 or 9, uh, if it was possible to measure vertically, and that would be with the uh, extra movement in the auto advance unit. So uh, probably directly measured vertically, 5.5 millimetres or so, fully advanced, would actually be correct, but because of the angle that we're going in at and the excessive movement of the advanced retard unit we're getting nearer 12 so uh, there's an explanation and that is an eye-opener for me because I never thought that it would uh, affect matters quite as much as that um, so we've got about 45 degrees uh, lean on the spark plug on the uh, Triumph 350 twin there we don't have as much on the bullet engine the bullet engine spark plug is a lot closer to the vertical, although it's not vertical. But uh, obviously, a reading through the plug hole with that screwing tool would be more or nearer a reliable figure than it would on the Triumph because there isn't so much lean. But even so, the angle will actually compound and affect the readings and increase. The readings as we've seen here and um, a 45 degree angle can obviously increase those readings dramatically and uh, throw you right off the scent so that's one that I've just actually set up and practiced about half an hour ago and I was really surprised and quite taken aback with the result but it does explain one or two things where that triumph is concerned with what appeared to be excessively advanced timing the timing is probably nowhere near that excessively advanced in the real world, so uh, that, uh, that helped me sleep at night.